Did we get mad and quit EFT again? No, we didn't get mad and quit EFT again. We just stopped playing EFT. Got a little bit bored. It ran its course. I got jumped yesterday after doing small oil by these dudes that were chilling at Harbor. And they f killed me for all my good shit, man. So I got paid back for me taking the stuff off that one guy. So today, we're going to try to get another oil in. We didn't just come out here for scrap and shit. We need space for all of the above farm wise. We basically went right back to the same place we were, but this time we want a red card, or a blue card, right? So we're gonna get some cloth and some, some metal apparently. And too. I'll take that too. Deal. Deal. We also are gonna need stone and stuff soon to if the run goes well, we need to start building up our base. I'll tell you what, let's start building up our base after we raid someone else's base. How about that? Right here. Fuck. Yeah, there's I could be the worst player on the planet. I'm not 100%, but I'm up there. <laughs> I'm up there. No, you're not that bad. You got you got the game sense. What a spot, dude. What an ang you had there, guy. Which is right there in front of you. Okay, and is there a timer? Yeah, so now you gotta go northwest-ish and go to the big tower. It's like a concrete tower. You go to the top of it. Okay, northwest concrete tower, so I wanna leave this first. Why doesn't he just jump in the game with you? Oh, uh, excited. He knows I like to solo. And I'm trying to just get back into the group solo mode right now. Yep, you go to the top of it. I'm getting rads. Just a little bit. You just go to the top, flip the switch, and run back down. Okay. Very tough. And then you go to the... Yep. And then uh, you flip the switch, and then uh, you go to the big main building, and then you just swipe blue. Or you go to the first story, put the fuse in, and then swipe blue. I don't like getting rads, man. This place sucks. Yeah. Water treatment's definitely easier, but... Oh, there's a timer? Shit. Mm-hmm. At least you didn't waste anything, though. Bro, it's rads again! <laughs> hey, what am I doing up here? There should be a fuse slot up there. Put the fuse in, flip it, and then go up to the blue. Okay, I did it. Oh, no! I think that was a player. Yeah, it was. Dude, all right, bro. Never go on train yard ever again. <laughs> Never give me that recommendation ever. <laughs> why? Why would I want to go there when it's Rad City and I'm just healing the whole time? I lose that fight just because I have to heal the whole time. Well, I mean, it won't be that bad actually if we go with Hazzy's. You know what I mean? We just have to go with Hazzy suit next time, really. That's all it comes down to. Do you think Twitch should be worried about kick? Um. I don't know who should be worried about who, but I can say that when I saw that Aiden Ross is going um, over to kick, but he's going over there for the reasons that, I mean, that everybody will eventually run into a problem with, which is, you know, he's going over there because there's no terms of service, right? But eventually you're going to, you're, you're still going to be like personally responsible for being taken down, right? They're just not going to be hitting up 
kick about it, they're going to be going straight to you, straight to your agent, straight to whoever the fuck they can contact about it, right? And if they can't contact anybody about it, I imagine there's possibility for a lawsuit, right? Shit like that. So it's like, just because the website allows you to do those things doesn't mean it's it's in your within your best interest to do those things with a large audience. You think that if you watch UFC in front of 30,000 people that Dana White's not going to be knocking on your front fucking door just because you're not under Twitch? You're out of your mind. That's not how the world works. Twitch is protecting you, you know what I mean? I mean, you know what happens when Twitch gets hit up about something that you fucked up on, right? It's like they they give you a call and basically tell the company that's DMCAing you, like, yo, we'll let them know, we'll give them a slap on the wrist, you'll, they'll catch a day ban or whatever, you know what I'm saying, so that nothing else gets pursued, right? So they, they, they like, are like the middleman, like, the, slap you on the wrist real quick so make sure you don't get in trouble. You get a phone call from your Twitch rep. <laughs> don't do that again. It's just different when you don't got that, I imagine. Might want to reload. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. I don't know how you saw him, dude. I couldn't see shit. I couldn't really see him either until I saw, like, I just, like, um, I knew he was behind the thing because I saw him run behind it. And I thought I saw some, like, like foot or something, so I shot it. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> What the fuck was that? That was fucking weird. <laughs> was that sus as fuck or what? That was that was weird as fuck, yeah. Oh my god, I'm bored. I'm getting out. I'm getting out while I can, cheese. <laughs> it's okay. Next time we'll play 2v2. <laughs>